It is Jim Pickens, isn't it? Yeah, that's the name, Jim Pickens. And what can I do for you, Mr. Pickens? Oh, excuse me. I mean, what can you help me with? Where would I start? Well, I think you'll find that in most cases, problems tend to stem from childhood. Whew. Not a bad idea. Excuse me, sir, can you please refrain from- It all started when I was seven. Okay, so here we are, back in time in The Sims 1. I've already made my family, and they have deleted themselves, okay? I guess I'll just make it again. So we got Jim here, little Jim Pickens. We got his papa, Dick, Dick Pickens, and Dick is a Richard. And we got his mother, Janice Pickens. Janice, more like Boren, no. Jen, not nice. And we're done. We're done. We're, we're done. Ugh. Oh, god damn it, I'm gonna have to do it again, aren't I? For fa- Alright, let's do this again. Oh wait, my family's there this time! And I have the original Janice haircut, I couldn't find that the next time. Alright, that works for me. Yeah, buy that house. Magic Town. I have all the expansion packs, so there's definitely enough stuff to do. Oh, god damn it, the house isn't even furnished. Oh, I have to do everything myself, don't I? It's very unfortunate, but all the doors are just made from beads. You walk in the front door and there's just a bead door looking right at the toilet. What's the point in barriers, man? It's just like self-imposed restrictions on life. <laughs> We're gonna have beads as the front door too. And have an arch just coming in the back. Oh my god, I forgot how big the tables were in the old Sims games. Looking at this, you can kind of understand why Jim is so messed up. Like, look at his room. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter, except he never goes to Hogwarts. He's just stuck in there for seven movies. Or eight, if you really want to cash out. I'm using the money cheat, but I'm just getting the stupidest things with it. Wouldn't be complete without a skydiving simulator, of course. It's weird, because I started building, like, the toilet like this and the shower like that. Thinking, oh, they, you know, don't like technology. But then I got the skydiving simulator in the back. <laughs> okay, I think we're good to go. I got a few bonus things. I got this skeleton. I don't know what it is. What's in there? He's already getting ideas. <laughs> oh, it's actually alive. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I love it. I like how it blurs their whole body when they go to the bathroom. <laughs> As he uses the facilities, you may not see his hair. You pervert. <laughs> Who's this guy? Brad? Yeah, sure. I gotta clean this magic lamp first of all, since my maid won't do it. Hey, Brad, get out of my hot tub with my wife. <laughs> I wish Brad would die. <laughs> I see a conflict in you. Your heart pulls one way and your thoughts have welled another. I want love. Would you like this spell cast upon a male or female? Female. Oopsie daisy, I waved my hands the wrong way. Somebody looks angry. You'd better cheer them up. What kind of a genie are you? Oh, god damn it. Look at our mood now. Ah, oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> Go vibrate on the bed. Hey, man. <laughs> Oh god, that's a little bit disturbing. They even censor him when he's in his trunks. This game is very conscious of my fragile mind. We're gonna need a pool for sure, for various reasons. Okay, he got out of it to take off his clothes, and then he got back in. I think Brad really likes stick. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's a very digital alert for my payphone. What is it? What do you want? The school bus? Yeah, you brought him home. Oh, it's Jim standing in front of the bus. <laughs> He's wrecking running from the bus. He was definitely a troubled person ever since he was a child. They're gossiping about their son. Nice. Have you noticed he stands in front of buses like all day? <laughs> the entertainment career track, huh? Yeah, that could suit Dick. He could start as a Bob Ross impersonator. I'm gonna make a little potion here. God knows what I'm making. You've discovered a new spell. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. The kid has to do all the work while they're in the hot tub. Yeah, this is really painting a picture of why Jim is the way he is. Oh, you're trying to sleep? Well, I'm sorry, but I really want to vibrate right now. <laughs> he pays $20 on his own bed. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like that. The thing is, I don't think they're even married or anything like that. I don't think you could do that in The Sims 1. So it's just some random naked dude getting into her bed. <laughs> Friends and family got you down. Friends. Looks like someone has taken a new liking to you. Who, though? A feckin' random cat has taken a liking to me. Thanks, Genie. You're feckin' fantastic. A skunk has arrived at my house. God damn it, this is not going well, is it? Throw a party. Get to know the neighbors. Nice, they're coming over. Great, Dick missed his first day at work. <laughs> Sleeping in his kid's bed was too important, apparently. Oh, here they come. Jesus, there's so many. 
I've built a snow mound around the pool. Now I just gotta make sure my guys don't jump into it. There's a mime. Strangely, he is compelled to entertain them. Okay, he's here for entertainment, apparently. God knows why. Ask to leave. <laughs> he just shows up and it's like, uh, this is kind of a no mimes party. <laughs> oh, every party's a no mimes party all of a sudden. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the mime will not leave while the party remains. <laughs> okay, he is not leaving, apparently. Well, then can you please go in the pool? God, they all want to go in the pool all of a sudden. Just go to sleep. It's best if they're distracted. Now they're starting to wonder, like, guys, I don't think the snow is covering the ladder. I think there's just no ladder. <laughs> what is it? Oh, he's standing in front of the boss again. <laughs> no, not moving. <laughs> this is the only time people pay attention to him. I mean, his parents sure as hell don't. All right, there's too many of them home now. I don't want to get cut off guard, so I'm just going to build the snow bank blocking the pool. Okay, perfect. Party's over, folks. <laughs> and by party, I mean life for at least six of you. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Though the body is gone, the spirit will always remain in video form. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, another one. Oh, another one. Oh, it's been a busy day. Oh, another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> The hell is that? Is it because a cat came on the lawn? His name is El Bandito, after all. Find agent. And I want to know who's hot, too. When you sign with an agent, you will drop out of your current career. Yeah, I mean, I've only had one day and I missed it as well. I was sleeping in my son's bed. Superstar Cheryl somebody. Celebrity Kathleen somebody. I mean, they can't be that famous if they don't know their second names. <laughs> Wait, why is Jim now in the bed with his mother? All right, you know what? It's a weird family. Jesus Christ, they're spending a lot of time crying. Because I don't think these two are really evil. They're just absolutely clueless. <laughs> like, let's build a snowbank around the pool. We want our privacy. <laughs> he missed the school bus because he's too busy mourning. No wonder he's immune to sadness. He's spending his whole childhood crying. <laughs> What is with the music cues in this game? <laughs> They're great. It's so hard to get your mood up. I forgot how annoying it is. It's just non-stop. What is that? Oh, it's a ghost. Okay. Well, we should definitely be haunted. We deserve that much. What is wrong with you now? Oh, she's falling asleep standing up. Talk to your son. Scold him. Scold him repeatedly. <laughs> Go to school for once. Can you stop snoring so loud, please? <laughs> Oh my god, he won't feckin' go in the skydiving because he's in too bad of a mood to have fun. Look, just vibrate in the bed, increase your comfort. Fame fades quickly with time. <laughs> it's been two days and he's not even had any fame to lose. Right, you know what? Go to sleep. Try to sleep past all that crying. In the morning, we're just going to the studio. Have three breakfasts to get your hunger up. Then you use the bathroom. Oh my god, your wife died. Jesus Christ, plea with the reaper. Congratulations, you've overcome that itself. You've beat the Grim Reaper. And that's where Jim's friendship started. He was like, hey, that Grim Reaper ain't so bad. Also, he's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> I love how the holy music is playing <laughs> as the woman is pissing herself. <laughs> Go to studio town. Stop making fun of her, she just died. Yes, save the house in its current condition. Wouldn't want to lose this progress. Paparazzi. Pose for picture. Went to a publicity stunt. <laughs> He's just some unknown guy. Alright, he wants to take pictures anyway. Congratulations, dick. Due to your recent success in Studio Town, we are upgrading your standing. You've gained a star level. Some dude took a photo of me. That was it. It's Avril Lavigne! Ask for autograph! <laughs> Oh my god, he's juggling and blocking the feckin' taxis. You can tell his son gets it from him. Also, that was my publicity stunt, apparently. Ah! I guess they're also excited about Avril Lavigne. Critem. <laughs> Critem. <laughs> yeah, crit Alright, you're being a bit persistent here. You need to just ask once and then back off. Ask her again. Okay, it's annoying as it is, but when NPCs stand in front of the cars, like, I can't do anything to stop that beeping. That's what? That's what? True celebrities only? Do you not see me juggling? Star kiss. I'm kissing this celebrity. They were the top star according to who's hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wasn't a fan. Okay. I'm already getting to really bad reputation in Hollywood. Whoa, what is going on up here? Here he comes. He's like, turn that racket off. Can't you see I'm in my pajamas? I'm ready for a sleep. Wait, you got this one on too? Turn that off as well. No fun while I'm around. How do I become a star? What do I do? Ah, turn it off. 
I need to get charisma and creativity up a bit. All right, you know what? I'll go home. I'll get my skills up and I'll be back. Oh, great. Back to my kid. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. Look at my kid's mood. Jesus Christ. He's going to get taken away. Eat something. Knowing this game, you'll need a lot. I think the graves are distracting them. I'm going to sell them. This is where he got the idea for the graveyard business. Your poor grades are putting you in the express line for military school. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is he not doing his homework? Oh, he's not even feeding himself. He's probably not doing his homework, right? You can also see with this skeleton why Jim thinks it's such a good idea to have a few skeletons in your closet. A -bum -bum <laughs> and no one laughed. <laughs> this poor maid, like, I just have snacks and I just throw everything on the floor. I'm too depressed to even look at myself. Oh, that's the most relatable thing a sim has ever said. <laughs> Shortly followed by a zippy zorbadorb. That one really speaks to me. <laughs> Oh, he pissed himself and went right into the hot tub. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Okay, he's getting into the bed naked with his son. This is very worrying. You can kind of understand why Jim and BJ used to sleep in the same bed now, though. He just thinks it's normal. Stop freaking out. Just go to school. Oh, God, she's mocking him now on the other side of the wall. <laughs> oh, no, she legitimately is freaking out. Friendships are like plants. If you don't care for them, they wilt and die. Maybe you should spend some time with Hikuba Goth Sr. It's a stray cat. I don't think it cares. I definitely don't. Be insulted, be teased, see handstand, see handstand. Okay, Jim has an odd way of interacting with his father. He opened the closet to the skeleton and immediately fell asleep. The skeleton's not coming out. <laughs> Oh my god, he's freaking out his mom. Your mom died like a day ago, dude. Give her a break. It's like having pets. They just eat and poop. That's all they do. And occasionally die. <laughs> Oh, please move. We can't eat. I'm just starting to get him in a good mood. Oh, please just make a wish. Just make something happen for me. Kid, go to school. God damn it. I mean, the parents are awful, but Jesus, he's hard to deal with. You call a curious one? I sense a desire to improve the physical existence. My spell is just too hot. Fire. Appreciate it. Thanks. The one thing I actually use in the house, the hot tub. You know what? I don't care. I'm going to Studio Town. Yes. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. I couldn't possibly put on a happy face for the camera. That's a very good excuse for the camera not actually wanting you. I recommend you get started by grabbing an open microphone or stepping up to the karaoke bar. Okay. Yeah, this place is probably more my style. I think this is all about modeling, though. That's not what my guy wants to do. Yeah, I'm at the wrong place. All right, you know what? Go home again. <laughs> we need to go to a karaoke bar or something when I'm in a good mood. Oh, God. Here we are again. No, I don't need the help system. I'm doing fine. Throw a party. Thanks for the invite. Sounds great. <laughs> now, there all going to deal with the fire. We'll go to sleep. Oh, don't destroy my skydiving thing. That's very expensive. <laughs> Oh, good, it's out. Okay, the party's disbanded. <laughs> they all just went home. God, that party was lit. <laughs> oh, the stray cat isn't a family friend anymore. Your perfectly pickled peppers won first prize at the county fair. I think you got the wrong number, but I'll take the money. Oh, God, there's a cockroach infestation. Just leave it. Leave it happen. It's nature, man. Throw party. It's the only thing that'll fix our moods. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> it's like, who's available for a spur-of-the-moment party at 7 a.m.? You know what? Sell these beads. Perfect. Now... Enjoy the party, folks. You're stranded all of a sudden. A spontaneous moat has appeared, and the only escape is by diving in. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake, because he had to go around the back, he missed the school bus. Jim's gonna get taken away. This is how the story's gonna end. You blew it big time. No more second chances for you. Military school is your next stop. We won't be seeing your face around here again, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, I think he's getting taken away and sent to military school. Interesting turn of events. I don't think he's gonna last there either. Right, well, their son got taken away. If only he could have made it to that bus a little bit sooner. <laughs> but there was something in the way. We should call someone to help them. Call the police. Someone will be right over. Dick has lost a star level. I wonder why. Probably because the only skill he has in life is juggling. Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, he's stomping on cockroaches in his bare feet. Okay. The wallet you turned into the police has not been claimed. $300. Speaking of the police, where are they? Call the fire department to save them then. We'll be right over. I think I've been blacklisted by all emergency services. They're just told not to show up. You can't say I didn't try and save them then, I guess. Oh, someone died. Oh, someone died. Oh, someone died. God, the Grim Reaper's got a lot of work cut out for him. Yep, he's gone, I know. Let's just get rid of that pool entirely. I feel like it was a bad idea, you know? Seems to have caused pain when they bought it to bring joy to the neighborhood. Oh, the police finally showed up. It's a little bit too late. <laughs> 
Stop screaming. You're putting on a show for the police. Like, we tried everything. You should only call the police when there's an actual emergency. You think seven deaths is an emergency? You fool. <laughs> you called in a false alarm. There's a penalty fee up to $100. Okay. Well, the emergency services definitely are doing a scam on me. I think we'll do an outro to these beautiful screams of horror. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see another episode on this, or will we move on to The Sims 2 and see what Jim was like as a teenager. I don't mind doing either. I think there's a lot more to do on here, but I think The Sims 2 will be a blast as well. Oh my god, off she goes again. Either way, appreciate you watching, folks, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>